Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. I am in paradise. Sorry about the the lighting. Uh, the sun is rising here in uh, Florida, and it's beautiful. I'm on scene here to check out Blackout Coffee. Uh, I want to bring you some some videos from the new location that you, the viewer of this channel, helped uh, this American Pro 2A company grow, and uh, I'll bring you some of that soon, shortly here. Um, so again, sorry about the the shadows, it's the best I can do uh, for this situation where I, I wanted to show that off. Uh, the water here is amazing. Um, so I wanted to bring you guys some updated numbers for new gun owners here in the first half of 2021. Now the NSSF, the National Shooting Sports Foundation, uh, they keep track of all these statistics and how they do it, I don't know. I'm not part of uh, their statistic uh, group. But I will tell you that approximately 3.2 million new gun owners joined the ranks in the first six months of 2021. Now, again, those are estimates. They What they do is they, serve, they survey um, FFLs and they ask their customer base, obviously, and they extrapolate those numbers. And these are the updated estimates from the NSSF. You can see from January to June of 2021, uh, there were 3.2 first time gun buyers more than 3.2 million that represents 33.2 percent of the uh firearms purchased is a crow right over uh the behind the camera here who wants to be famous uh and also of those 3.2 million new gun owners 22 percent or 22.1 percent of those have purchased another firearm since their initial purchase they even break it down by age group so of those new 3.2 plus million gun owners for this first half of this year 22.9% of those were 30 years old or under, 22.6% were 31 to 40 years old, 21.9 from 41 to 50, 14.3 from 51 to 60 years old, and 8.8% of those were over 61 years old. And the average number of additional firearms purchased per person by these recent first time buyers was 1.6 additional firearms, so they're buying more than one at a time. Now, NSSF also put out some new numbers about firearm and ammunition sales here in the uh, the shortages. And again, this is those new gun owners they surveyed. 90.9% uh, of them experienced low inventory issues with firearms that had a negative impact on their sales, meaning they would purchase more or more people would have purchased their first firearm. And 96.1% of those experienced low inventory with ammunition that had a negative impact on their sales. And <laughs> welcome to the club, guys and gals. Of those shortages, 97.4% of people had trouble buying a handgun, 77.9% uh, uh, for the modern, modern sporting rifles, you can see AKs, ARs, and SKS platform. Over 66 wanted to buy a shotgun, over 54 wanted a traditional hunting rifle, and just over 5% 5 5 wanted a muzzle loader. And you can see the correlating numbers for ammunition they had trouble purchasing, like, like the rest of us. Now here's another cool statistic that the NSF put out. If firearm inventory had been available, how much more of this product percentage-wise do you estimate you would have sold? And FFL said they would have sold 138% more firearms and 205% more ammunition. And yeah, that's that's a given. They also put out breakdowns for the demographics of their first time uh, customers. And these numbers I think are pretty cool too. Over 90% of retailers reported an increase of African-American men purchasing firearms. Nearly 87% of retailers reported an increase in African-American women purchasing firearms. And nearly 84% of Hispanic uh, American men purchasing firearms. Over 87% of Hispanic women uh, purchasing firearms. 76.5% of retailers reported an increase in Asian-American men. And 82% increase in Asian-American women purchasing firearms. 22.1% of the customers purchased a second firearm since their initial purchase. 44.5% of the first time gun buyers in 2021 were under 40 years old. 44.7% asked for information on safety training and 23.6% signed up for safety training. So as you can see, uh, the, the, the increase is there, the demand is there that Americans are realizing they are their own protection. Yes, there are, there's law enforcement everywhere in this country, but when seconds matter, police are only minutes away and you are the one who is responsible for your own safety. So I, I suggest each and every person watching take their safety, their own safety paramount and do what they need to do to be able to protect themselves. 
get your friends and family involved, take new people to the range. That's how we spread uh, the uh, the good part about gun ownership instead of all the uh, the angry opposition, what they want people to see. So just some quick numbers. Uh, it is humid here in uh, Southwest Florida, like really humid. And it's, it's not even eight, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, but I just wanted to bring you guys those new, new numbers and uh, I will be at Blackout Coffee today and uh, maybe show you around the, the, the warehouse, how we make it, how we roast it, how we grind it and stuff like that. And again, thank you for helping our company grow. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon. I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Take care.